Do you know that in Uganda, even a fool can survive? Unlike in most uh, countries, especially in Western countries, a fool can survive. You don't, fools don't die here. In Europe, fools die. If you are very foolish, you die. And thank you for watching Essential Media Uganda. At all, everybody, uh, kubedango subscribing and liking at no sharing. I, I, I came across this video, uh, this interview that was recorded in 2021 after elections. Mseven, ya lia sinkanye, banama udi na dala abava e jamani. Eranga bazo mbuza kunsonga, ezi kwa atagana ku Uganda na kaluengidi jika wedemu. Na ye, you gonna watch and love this. The way Mseven was answering had questions that were asked by these journalists or this press from German. Take a look. Um, when you came to power in 1986, you were hailed as a hero. You liberated the struggle from civil war, stabilized the country, modernized it. You made progressive AIDS policies, but put women, women in leadership positions and established a proud constitution that was later changed by your instigation so that you could continue the rule. You turned from a Marxist to a faithful evangelist from a freedom fighter, as some say, I'm quoting, to a dictator. Some call you an autocrat. What happened? Well, the, the, those people don't know our position in the world. They don't know. They are just talking about things they don't know. As you can see, Africa is a very rich continent, but we had a number of uh, problems. One of them was a small population in a huge continent. Remember, uh, Africa is about 12 times the size of India. You can fit India into Africa 12 times, and it will fit there. However, even today, the population of Africa is slightly smaller than the population of India. So that small population in a huge and rich continent has implications for the psychology uh, of the population. The population uh, takes things easy. They, they, they are a bit relaxed, a bit laid back. I think that's what they call it in English. They are a bit laid back. So we need to wake them up, to wake up that population. Because it, by 1969, only 4% of the population of Uganda were working for money. The rest were working for just eating. They call it subsistence, farming. You, you, you work only to eat, not to earn money. So, by 1969, only 4% of the people were working for, for money. What you would call in modern terms, part of the monetary GDP. 96% were part of what they call non-monetary GDP. So, the situation has changed a little bit now. In 2014, the people who were in the money economy were 32% of the population. 68% are still outside the money economy. When Museven was asked about Bobby Wine supporters being arrested and how he feels being challenged, by this pop star. This is what he had to say. Uh, democracy means choice. And there's choice here. 
about being arrested, it was because he was breaking the law, but also endangering our society, endangering our people. Because we campaigned with the scientific, we were calling it scientific campaign, campaigning during the time of corona. We were not allowing big gatherings. And other politicians were, some of the politicians were, 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 were observing the, 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 what we call the SOPs, Standard Operating Procedures. One of those candidates refused and said he, 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 for him he's not concerned. That's why he was in conflict with the, with, with the law. Museven in response towards Uganda's economy and how to boost it shocked me. And this was his response, so intelligent and no. Well, when we started, we had eight uh, factories. We have now got 5,000. These are factories. The services companies have many more. So we, we are definitely going to, the youth population is not a problem for us. The problem is the market. This is the one we are working on. The market, market, market of our products. But, but uh, the, the, the youth will get jobs because the sectors are four. There is commercial agriculture. There is industries. There is services transport, banks, and so on, and ICT. These four will absorb our, our people. Our, our struggle is the market, is the market, yes, market to, to, to sell what we produce. Okay, okay. There's 80% right now working in the informal sector. Isn't that like a sign that there is no very sustainable economic model when you have so many people out of the formal sector not paying taxes as well? No, the, the, all those can go to, to formal, to formal. Uh, you are right, the, 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 this is part, of, this is what I was telling you. In fact, you are, not, you, you are using the wrong word, you are using the word uh, informal sector, but much of the economy is actually pre-capitalist. This is part of the problem of, of Africa, which, you, of course, you don't know. My father was not part of the capitalist system. He was part of the traditional, traditional African way, where you just produce, you eat, you don't sell. That's what I was telling you, that 68% are part of what you call subsistence economy, which is, which is like traditional economy. Now our struggle is to convert the traditional people into the modern money, money economy. And when we do it, the challenge is not, uh, the challenge, we, are, we used to have a number of challenges, one was, one was electricity, but now we have got enough electricity transport, transport costs, the cost of money, all this we are working on, and, and we shall put in more money. So the, 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 the actual challenge is, is the market. What we, once we, they, they come to the, to the money economy, where do you sell their products? That's what I was telling you. That, that in, in, in this part of the world, one of the big struggle is to unite our market, the African market. But how do you get there? How do you get people out of these informal sectors? Because obviously you are trying by, by for quite by, some time. By, by negotiating with other African countries. Negotiating with other, because there are three ways we shall solve the issue of market. This is actually the, the big problem. There are two problems. One problem is, what do you call sleeping in German? Sleeping, when people Sleeping. Hmm? 
Shlafen. Shlafen. The big problem of Africa is Shlafen. Number one. Sind zu faul. Okay, go ahead. Big problem number one of Africa, including Uganda, has been Shrafen. Now, when you wake them up and they start producing, the next problem is where do you sell what they produce? Uh -huh. uh, there are three ways we, 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 are, we, are, we are tackling this. Number one is regional integration, Africa. Number two, when the purchasing power, when the purchasing power of here goes up, then they will buy more. The purchasing power, the internal purchasing, my, my purchasing power to go up so that I can buy more. Then the third one is working with third parties. Uganda is not a theater. We are still in a real struggle. And M7 says he has been in a struggle for not even uh, the last 30 years or 38, but has been in a struggle for the last 60 years. In what English they call it uh, schematic, just appearing as if we are in a theater. Uh, scene one, you go. Scene two, you come. We are not in a theater, we are in a real, real serious struggle to transform Africa. So that's why we want everybody available if the people want. You know, Museven acknowledges that Uganda is indeed a corrupt country. But he said, and he knows, that a lot of government officials are so corrupt. Watch his response towards corruption in Uganda, especially in his government. There is, there is corruption, there is corruption. But, but it will be defeated. It will be defeated like we have defeated so many problems. There is corruption. And when you talk with those people, they can tell you what uh, is, be, is being done. The corruption was so uh, unmanageable. How is it that our economy is growing very fast? Why? Economy cannot grow if you have, if you have got so much corruption. Many people say that Uganda is a military democratic country. Do you believe so? This question was asked by this press, and M7 response also got my nerves start shrinking. Would you, would you agree to that? <laughs> no, not at all. It's not a military democracy. It is, a, it is one of the most democratic countries in the world. And, and if you want, I can challenge you. Uh, you know, for us, we are polite people. We, we, we don't lecture people. Uh, it is the Europeans who have, ha who have got the bad habit of lecturing. Uh, an experienced man like me, you find I'm getting lectures from, from novices. But, but the, uh, if you look at our democracy, it is one of the most advanced. We have got so many elections. Now we are having elections for youth, for women, for disabled people. You don't have those in your country. You have got only a member of parliament for constituency. So I can say that your democracy is shallow, but that's your own business. <laughs> you know, M7 is, uh, is a historian and he knows history very well. Uh, he actually narrated how Africans chased away colonialists in Africa. By 1963, 36 African countries were independent. But there was another 20 which were still under European colonialism. This included Mozambique, Angola, Guinea-Bissau, Ian Smith, a character called Ian Smith was in Zimbabwe, Rhodesia, then we had Namibia, then we had South Africa itself. So by 1963, a part of Africa is 
is independent, a part is still colonized. So the African countries tell the, the Europeans, go, go away from the remaining part of Africa. If you don't go peacefully, we shall throw you out by force. They thought we were joking. The Chinese supported us and the Russians. We, we kicked the, the Portuguese out of Mozambique. We kicked them out of, of Angola. We kicked them out of Guinea-Bissau. We even liberated Portugal itself from fascism. Wait, let me tell you. This is a free lesson of, of history. No tuition. You don't have to pay me tuition. Uh -huh. So this is the history of, 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 of Africa and China. It's not, a new, it's not a new history. Even when China was still very low in terms of economic uh, development, but because of ideological, so they you, supported us. So you say China? Just hold on. Just hold on. Uh, so now, the, now that China has become a, a, a richer country, they have now upscaled, upscaled their... Maybe I can give you some example. In 1964, Zhao and Lai, Zhao and Lai, the Prime Minister of China at that time, visited Tanzania your former colony, and pledged to build a railway line from Tanzania up to Zambia. It was called Tazara. Uh -huh. and, and, and they built it. They built it. Mm. They built it. They were still backward economically. They were not very, very, very rich, but they built it, the Chinese. So now that they are much richer, they are, they are upscaling our cooperation with them which was originally political, uh, diplomatic. Of course, we were also supporting China in the UN because the Western countries had kept China out, out of, the, of the UN, out of the Security Council. So we were supporting them uh, to, to come to the Security Council. So therefore, the cooperation between China uh, and even uh, Russia uh, with, with Africa is not new at all. It is historical. It started with the anti-colonial struggle. Now it has blossomed into uh, economic cooperation. Uh, but, but you hear the, the question you're asking. It means you don't know the history of Africa. You don't know that we have been working with the Chinese all this time. We've seen a lot of countries enabling Uganda that are so on tension. We've seen DLC. We've seen uh, Burundi and other countries. And this is not a good gesture to Uganda because you cannot be safe when your neighbors are not safe. So this is Museveni's response towards the political unrest in the neighboring countries. Pressure area, an area where there is a vacuum of power. We need power here. Because at the moment, like the region, the stability is very, very fragile. If you look at the neighbors of Uganda, it's, uh, it's quite difficult. Congo is in trouble. You have South Sudan is in trouble. Mm. Uh, and that's how, much why is, how much is there a, a threat to your country as well? And how much does it worry you that there is so much unrest in your neighborhood? Of course, that's why we say that that unrest is there. We know why. I have told you the history of Uganda how for the last 60 years we have been involved in building capacity, which we have now. That's why Uganda is peaceful. And that's why we can, we can, we can subdue any challenge. Uh, and, and, and slowly, new forces will coalesce in Africa, which will create a center of gravity, a center of gravity for, for Africa. Africa needs a center of gravity. We don't have a center of gravity now. This is part of the problem. Does Museven consider Mohoz as his successor? Do you think Mohoz can succeed his father? That is a settled question because the constitution of Uganda shows how leaders are elected. 
member of parliament is elected like this. Uh, district chairman is elected like this. President is elec elected like this. So we are not short of how to get a leader. The only thing would be in the, in the contest, contest of, of ideas, to get leaders who will continue the line of our movement. Thank you once again for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please kindly share. Give me your comment and share your view. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any video that we upload. Thank you and have a blessed one. Ordina Biotunda Saloni Akedi Oba business yon na jokola. Wan yaga dok funaba customer. Oh muksa guguno. Langan essential media Uganda. Ko social media handles a fez of na. Business yon yuku babantu maso majimanye. Kobi sale bitono dala. Where is Akalango? To Kaisa move videos at Fizz on Nazi to take a combo to Jeffin. Of Nama Guba Muyotu and Bagida O. Of Manevi Singa O. Where is Ovaka WhatsApp? Zero Musango Munana. A certain way was at Wemo. Biddy, Zero Musango. Ova, you go very good to Jeffin Yonda. Of Manevi Singa O.